So in this video, we're going to tackle one of the most common questions with AWS Lambda in general, and what's sure to be the top question when it comes to AWS Cloud9, and that's how to bring in um, third-party libraries um, imports into your AWS Lambda function. So to get started, we're going to create a new function. We'll give it a quick name. We'll say next. We're going to start with the default uh, template. So just a simple hello world. Fire that up without a trigger, let everything be automatically generated. And this is one of the huge advantages of Cloud9 is you can just kind of keep clicking through um, and do some really basic, simple testing. Um, so once this has created the local um, SAM container to run the testing in and such, um, we're going to fire that up and you'll see that we get a key error as expected because we're asking for specific keys when they don't really exist. Um, but let's fix this Lambda function to make sure that we have no errors. And then I'm going to show you how to do that import real quick. So the thing to remember with Cloud9, so you can see here our function executes correctly. The thing to remember with Cloud9 is it's running on its own customized EC2 instance. You actually have access to this instance. It is yours. You need to manage it. And remember, Cloud9 warns you when you set up your um, environment. It no longer does app updates. It doesn't do backup. That's all on you, just like any other EC2 instance. But if you go to Window, New Terminal, you'll see that you actually do get access uh, to the command line. And that's great. That's just if you see the present working directory, you're going to see we're just in our generic environment. Um, but there's a nice little shortcut they've built into the IDE. I'm going to close that terminal window. If I go and look on the left-hand side here under the Environment tab, you'll see I have my file layout. And when I look, I have my import. Here's my default Lambda function. Um, but if I click on the top name, so Cloud9 Import Test is the name of my function that I gave it. If I click here, if I right-click and go down to Open Terminal here, or I can use the uh, Command Shortcut, Open Terminal here, and you'll see that now my present working directory is actually in um, the import test where I want to be. Now I'm using Python, so I'm going to use pip to install a library. I'm going to use requests as a sample here. So pip install requests. Now here's the key magic. Dash T is for a localized installation. It's not going to put it into the uh, Python install. It's going to install all of that in the current working directory. Um, I'm just going to dot for current working directory. Hit enter and you'll see that it collects it. It's a tiny, tiny bit fast. Um, this is one of the advantages of also working within the AWS cloud directly um, is that everything is rocket fast for installing um, and grabbing things online. Um, so when I look on the left hand side now, you can see I have uh, all the dependencies and a bunch of the distribution info. We actually just take those directories and remove them to clean things up a little bit. So yes to all. You see I have uh, certify, um, character detect, uh, IDNA, um, request itself in Eurolib 3, um, which is great. But now I can actually type import requests, if I could spell. Uh, import requests. And you'll see that this is no longer going to um, crash. This will automatically update and work fine. But I'll prove it by going uh, page is requests.get. HTTPS, let me give quotes for there, HTTPS, markn.ca, that's my web page. And then I'm going to do uh, print web page dot status code. So this should be uh, return um, a 200 into our thing. So I'll save that, click on run. And when I go back to my tab, you'll see that I get my 200 from my uh, request. So I'll make that a little clearer for you. Uh, doop. Always love live coding. Save. I always keep forgetting to save. Save, then run again. And you'll see that requests gives back a 200. So now we're using a new dependency. It's packaged into our Lambda for us, which means when we go to AWS resources, if we look at our local function, um, if we deploy this out to AWS, it's going to actually package it all up and deploy it properly. And it's really that easy. So the key here is to remember that Cloud9 is running on your own EC2 instance. For Python dependencies, pip install, name of the dependency, dash t, then a dot will give you your um, install into the local directory. Um, let me pull that up to make it a little bit more legible. Um, so pip install, uh, name of the uh, library, dash t, and then period is the current directory. Make sure you import it into the top level directory for your function um, so that it is properly pathed. And that's it. It's nice and easy, nice and simple. If you have any more questions, let me know uh, here on YouTube or on Twitter where I'm Mark at MarkNC or on my Facebook page, uh, Mark NCA. We'll talk to you soon.